Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. The United States Air Forces currently operates one of the most powerful fighter jets in the world. Their unique design and advanced avionics make them extremely competitive in modern warfare. As a result, these flying marvels make a significant contribution to the $2 trillion global military expenditure every year. On today's feature, let us explore a few of these robust and tactical fighter jets and the capabilities that make them worth millions of dollars. The F-22 Raptor is a fighter jet operated by the United States Air Force and is the fifth generation fighter aircraft, boasting exceptional technologies. This aircraft was designed and developed to combine both stealth, integrated avionics and high maneuverability in a single flying machine. The first production of the F-22 was unveiled on April 9, 1997 and subsequently entered into service in 2005. I became involved uh, with the F-22, which you see behind me, uh, in 1991 and uh, worked with them, with the engineers at Marietta, Georgia, uh, and flew the first flight on the airplane in 1997. Well, the Advanced Tactical Fighter was designed to be uh, the invisible warplane. Uh, invisible is not a technically accurate term, it's more like a very difficult airplane to observe uh, and see. And it was designed to get into radar uh, protected areas where current fighters cannot survive and uh, take control of the airspace. The 62 feet long F-22 is made of titanium and composite materials and has a wingspan of 44.5 feet. It is powered by two Pratt & Whitney F-119 engines, each delivering a thrust of 35,000 pounds with afterburn. The plane possesses a sophisticated sensor suite, allowing the pilot to track, identify, shoot, and destroy air-to-air -air threats before being detected. The F-22 Raptor's ailerons can deflect simultaneously up and down, and so can the flaperons behind the wings. This special configuration significantly contributes to the F-22's high maneuvering capabilities. One of the unique features of the F-22 Raptor is its thrust vectoring nozzles, which enable the pilot to move or vector the nozzle up and down by 20 degrees. The vectoring increases the roll rate of the plane by 50%, making it much more maneuverable than other fighter jets. The thrust vectoring is built into the flight control system, so it works automatically in response to commands from the pilot. When the pilot turns the aircraft, the nozzles move in the desired direction along with the elevator, rudder, and aileron control surfaces. It is due to these thrust vectoring nozzles that the F-22 is also capable of climbing vertically immediately after takeoff at a speed of Mach 1 to 2. This is enabled by the thrust vectoring and highly mobile flaps. The F-22 Raptor has a smaller radar cross-section and much greater speed compared to its modern peers. It is only due to its extensive demand and capabilities that the unit cost of this aircraft in today's times can be valued at approximately $230 million. A 
Another Paramount fifth-generation fighter jet is F-35B, operated by the Marine Corps. One of the most interesting characteristics of this aircraft evolution is its ability to land vertically like a helicopter and take off in very short distances. These capabilities allow operating from austere, short field bases and a range of air-capable ships. To do this, the F-35B transforms itself by opening a vent behind the cockpit with a lift fan within. The lift fan generates a lifting force alongside the engine thrust that can swivel 90 degrees when in short takeoff or vertical landing mode, which enables the F-35B to take off easily from short distances. In situations of hovering in the air for a vertical landing, the large inlet covering behind the cockpit provides input air to the vertical landing fan. While slowing to landing speed, the pilot must balance thrust from the engine with the lift of the fan. Then, the entire exhaust system of the engine rotates down into vertical flight mode, and the pilot performs a touchdown using his impeccable flight skills. Besides its short takeoff and landing capabilities, the F-35B is unmatched in its combat capabilities. Its external pylons can each carry an AIM-9X Sidewinder or advanced short-range air-to-air missile and are canted outwards to reduce their radar cross-section. Additionally, the external wing stations can carry large air-to-surface weapons that would not fit inside the weapons base, such as the AGM-158 Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile. When it comes to humongous and powerful armaments, the McDonnell Douglas and Boeing Alliance's F-15 Eagle heavyweight fighter jets are rated to be the best in dogfighting and better suited for a different range of missions compared to the F-35s, due to their sizable weaponry and enormous dimensions. The first F-15 Eagle flight was made in July 1972, and since then, it has proven to be one of the most combat-ready aircraft in the world. The Eagle's air superiority is achieved through a mixture of unprecedented maneuverability, acceleration, range, weaponry, and avionics. Before taking off, the crew of the F-15 Eagle enter the aircraft through an external ladder. After suiting up for the flight, the duo are safely enclosed in the aircraft as the cockpit shield is lowered. Afterwards, the stabilators of the aircraft are checked and the nozzles of the engines are brought into takeoff position. Once the ground crew chief gives clearance to the pilot, the aircraft begins taxiing to the active runway. While taxiing, each aircraft keeps a safe distance from its forerunner. The F-15 takes off nearly 3,000 feet into the runway with the help of its powerful dual engines. A rather upgraded and improvised version of the F-15 Eagle is the F-15EX, developed by Boeing, which is a two-seater, all-weather, multi-role fighter that offers enhanced capabilities completely unique to the U.S. Air Force. However, 
They are still conducting integrated test and evaluation procedures before the Air Force can take them to the skies. This involves testing the various flight systems of the aircraft and evaluating its airworthiness. These integrated tests provide means for the F-15EX to get in the hands of the warfighter as soon as possible, while also ensuring the test rigor. With these dominant aircraft already in action, the world is yet to see what the current cutting-edge technology and visionary aviation engineers of tomorrow are to bring to the skies. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.